guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about Jouer Lip Toppers. I have all of them except one which is Topaz because Topaz it's... I mean, I won't wear Topaz because I'm so fair. Topaz? Topaz, yes. To me, Topaz seems more suited for deeper skin tones. You can see I'm fair. So I'll be showing you guys the lip swatches of every single one of the lip toppers except Topaz and I'll give you guys my review on what I think about the lip toppers from Jouer. Oh, I don't have two. One is the Jeffreysa collaboration. I think it's called Sweet Tooth. I don't have Topaz and I don't have the Jeffreysa collaboration. The rest of it I have. So I have four of it and yeah, let's get into lip swatches. So the first is Frostbite. This is the lighter shade. I'll go from lightest to the darkest. It all smells like vanilla. All of them, even their normal liquid lipstick, their glosses, they all smell the same. So I did not put any like lipstick underneath, this is just my natural lip colour. And this is a lip topper, it's supposed to be placed above lipstick but I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like by itself. So this is Frostbite by itself. There is um, some blue, purple, golden and pink like glitters on it. All of them has like glitters in them. Let me guys even closer. Okay, then the next color is Centropez. Or Centropez or Centropez? I don't know. So it's more like a pinkish um, lip topper. Okay, this is Central Pass, Central Pay. But then I don't know why there's like chunks of glitter inside that sticks together. So um, they have some green and blue reflect. There's glitters and also there's some metallic pigments inside this one. Let's zoom you guys closer to see. Still very natural, very nude. You can just wear it like this and go out, but you also can put it above like nude lipsticks. Okay, the next one is Skinny Deep. I think this is their first lip topper that they ever came up with. Came up, came out with. So Skinny Deep. That is Skinny Deep. There is a metallic pigment to it and also glitter. As you can tell. Let's zoom you guys in to let you guys see. So this metallic is more on a gold. The glitters are more gold. Yeah, the glitters are gold and yellow. So let's go on to the last one. So the last one is called Rose Gold. This one has more on a like confetti glitter. There's like purple, yellow, Gold. The pink one is more on a rose gold. Okay, this is rose gold. More of a natural lip as compared to skinny dip where you can really see that metallic pigment. This one is not that bad. It's more natural. Zoom you guys in. Now you can see it's more natural. Okay, so that's it for all the four lip toppers. Time to give you guys my review. All of them have a lot of glitters on them, so whenever they remove it, the glitters like go all over my mouth, and that is one of the negative points that I don't like about the lip toppers. Central Pay always got these like chunks of glitter that sticks together, which makes it even harder to apply. But the rest, it's pretty okay. Rose Gold, it's like. The one that I use the most because it's like you can see it's more natural and also easier to apply. The glitters don't like bulge up together like Central Pay. Um, and also when I wear this, I only can wear them above matte lipsticks or matte liquid lip. Yeah, I try over cream or satin formula and the lipstick itself separated. I don't know why, just like the formula just don't go well with it and it's just separate. Yeah, majority of the time it will separate when I put on um, non-matte lipstick under the lip toppers. So I don't really wear the lip toppers very frequently. I only wear them when um, I'm wearing a matte lipstick underneath. The longevity of these are not very long. 
because they're just lip toppers like lip gloss kind of thing if you eat you lick your lips it will be gone How about comfort they're very comfortable if you have the Jouer lip gloss the high pigment lip gloss or the Too Faced uh, lip oil Lip, we call it oil lip glosses it feels the same like it's very smooth non-sticky as you can see it feels like a normal lip balm just with like pigments and glitters to me the negative points about the lip toppers is just that it has a lot of glitters hard to remove um, the glitters not the pigments and it only can go on top of matte lipsticks for me it can work for you but it just don't work well with the lipsticks that I use and they are high-end products like I put it under Charlotte Tilbury's Kim KW is separated under Urban Decay uh, lipstick uh, cream cream formulas it also separated overall do I like them I don't really wear them because of the issues that I face with them I don't know why I got so many in the first place because I think they're so beautiful um, yeah but sometimes I will wear them and then I'll regret wearing them <laughs> but do I suggest you guys to go and buy the lip toppers for me personally, I will get the Rose Gold and the Saint Tropez because these two are the most wearable with any lipsticks that I find because they're more natural as you can tell, it can wear it by itself too but with Frostbite and with Skinny Dip hmm, they're harder to, harder to wear by themselves and harder to find a lipstick that matches it if you have more wearable lip toppers that can suit the majority of your lip products I would suggest you go for Central Pay and Rose Gold. Yep, so that's it for my review today on the lip toppers from Jouer. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope it helps you guys in deciding what lip toppers to get or whether you should get it or not. So remember to like, remember to share, remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!